Hi, I'm Brianna Beatty from Essential Energy and we're here at the Tamworth Depot. Come into the Zone Substation workshop and I'll show you a few things we're working on. Thanks. So, what's your job? I'm a Zone Substation electrical technician. And what does that mean? That means basically my job involves constructing, maintaining and testing of Zone Substations. So what's a Zone Substation? So Zone Substation is a yard that gets power typically at 66,000 volts and then steps it down to 11,000 or 22 that comes out onto the power lines and then to a distribution transformer like this one I'm about to test here today then steps it down further from 11,000 volts to the 415 or 230 that you then get in your house. So when you say stepping down what's that? So it changes the voltage so it changes it from 11,000 volts down to 230 or 415. And what would happen if 11,000 volts went into a house? All your wiring would melt and you'd have no house, there'd be a fire. <laughs> so what are you doing here? What are you testing? So I'm testing the insulation resistance between the high voltage and the low voltage to make sure there's no short circuits. And I'm going to test it at 2,500 volts DC for one minute. Testing. So this kind of work reminds me of something an electrician would do. Well, I'm actually a qualified electrician. Essential Energy puts you through a certificate three in electrotechnology during your apprenticeship. And what do you love about what you do? I get to work indoors and outdoors. I get to use my brain and my hands to do my job and I learn something new almost every day. Yeah, great. And so what else do you do in this workshop? I'm actually testing a recloser in the workshop at the moment if you'd like to see. Yeah, absolutely. So what does that mean? So reclosers, basically circuit protecting device. So in the real world, what would that impact? So reclosers are strategically put along the line. So if there's a fault in a section of the line, it'll only isolate that section and beyond, and not everyone else loses supply. So maybe my street might have a blackout, but not the entire suburb. Yes, that's correct. So show us the test, show us how it all works. Okay, so I talked to the recloser through my laptop, through a program, and through another program, I talked to this, which controls applying current to the terminals for the relay to pick up and trip. So the green light went off, so that's a successful trip? Yes, it's tripped when I've expected to on the screen. So it's a lot of problem solving in this job? Yes, and fault finding. And you love that kind of aspect? I do, yes. So I want to see how it all comes together. Can you show me what a zone substation looks like in the real world? I most certainly can, come this way. Thanks. Just got off the phone to system control to let them know that we're entering the zone substation. This is Oxyvale zone substation. So does this substation power Tamworth? It's one of four that powers Tamworth and the surrounding area. So what am I looking at? Okay, so we get 66 coming in from Transkit. It comes through these conductors, through the circuit breakers, which are those square looking things with the round discs on top, in the transformer, which steps it down to 11,000 volts, on, in underground cable up into this building, through circuit breakers that then go out to feeders and then to your house. And in this building, we've got batteries, which power our protection relays that control the circuit breakers. We've also got a control screen. If you'd like to come have a look. Yeah, absolutely. So this is kind of where it all comes together. Yes. This and is... if someone was watching this video and thought, I want to work in a career like this, how do you get an apprenticeship? I'd just recommend jumping on the website and logging a expression of interest or applying if there's any apprenticeships going. Okay, cool. So this room here, talk me through it. So down here we've got protection relays that control the circuit breakers battery chargers down the end there and over here is this is the screen that we can use to control these circuit breakers it's a SCADA screen right it's like the central control yes that's correct well thank you so much for having us pleasure having you thank you so much bye bye